All right, to watch this video for Thursday, September 13th. Um, quick, I don't want to call it a disclaimer, but quick explanation. Um, when you look at my charts, I want you to understand that I am always, I put out a watch list video every night and I'm looking for stuff to make money and tomorrow I do not hold overnight. So don't, uh, don't email me and say, hey, that chart looks like crap. Why would you recommend it? I am not an investor. I'm looking for things that might pay me tomorrow. And I'll only take them if I get an A-plus setup on an intraday basis, uh, just like the stuff we teach in our course, all right? So uh, the SPY today closed about where it opened. If I show you intraday, uh, you can see that it opened, ran a little bit, took out the lows, took and then took out the high of day, and then it was a complete chop fest, up, down, up, down before closing, right about where it opened. So it, it was it was a thin and choppy day still. We've seen a lot of that lately, but um, we're still finding some decent trades. And here is what I'm watching for Thursday, AKER, one of those sub dollar stocks, but it did have um, pretty strong volume for this stock, almost 8 million shares and trying to break out of this range. So we'll see if we get a red to green or something like that tomorrow. GoGo, -Go, which I believe is uh, Wi-Fi for airplanes. Um, pretty strong pop today. It's got, it's got um, I don't know, sort of decent support below. Looks like it's trying to turn up and maybe this thing's bottomed. Um, it, it, at one point, it felt like this thing was never going to bottom, and it might not have. We'll see. But anyway, for tomorrow, it might be worth watching because you had a nice volume day today, and it closed pretty strong. So, again, we'll see if it gives us a setup. Um, INPX, another one of these penny stocks, but had 58 million shares traded hands today. Closed uh, well off its highs, but I'm going to watch that for maybe a red to green tomorrow. Um, BLPH, really nice two-day run here. And then a couple lower highs, fairly narrow range today. So that one, I think it's still, unless it rolls over, I think it's still worth watching for another leg higher. NMRD, this one closed well off its highs. Um, but with big volume, and it actually did have news, uh, I'll see if we get any kind of low risk setup. It, it is a uh, thin stock, and I doubt that I'll trade it, but uh, I went ahead and threw it on the watch list. NIO, there's not a lot of chart to go on here. I believe they make electric vehicles in China. Um, and today was IPO day, which it opened right at six. It had pretty good range, um, and I think it's worth watching tomorrow. Um, closed off of its highs, and I actually traded this once today, made a few bucks, uh, but I, it held up pretty well. Um, and it held up in after hours. You know, it, it looks like it's at six seventy three in after hours too. So anyway, I think this is worth watching. It's it's hard to uh, post a chart and say much about it when we've had one day of trading, right? Uh, but I do think it's worth watching. I, I've had decent success trading recent IPOs, um, so I think this one's worth watching. All right, um, Fred. Fred gapped down today, but ended up closing pretty strong. When I show you what happened on an intraday basis, had an initial pop and then rolled over, and then had this little fake out pop here. But then look at this. It, it, the last uh, hour, hour and a half, it just grinded higher all day. So. There it is on 15. So, you know, you kind of have support below now. Maybe it's going to retest the highs uh, from the other day, which was just about three bucks. I still I definitely think it's worth having on watch. GEMP, this one's obscure, but it had a really nice pop here from $1.36 to $2.65, just over the course of a couple sessions. And now it's kind of pulling back into the eight day. Very narrow range today. I think it's worth watching. Um, not in love with it, but not in love with much anything lately. Um, IZEA, uh, this is one of the stocks that I hate more than almost any other stock uh, as a trader. Don't know anything about the company, but um, I still think it's worth watching. It topped out today at 201. I don't know. It gapped up yesterday. It's had a couple news blurbs the last couple days. I certainly think it's worth watching back through two tomorrow. We'll see how it sets up, if it sets up at all. One of my least favorite stocks, though, as far as a trader. REN, R-E-N-N, also had a... Um, gap up yesterday and a strong day big volume and today kind of gap down and closed red but if it holds the two-day low and china stocks got a nice pop today it might be up from here so i think it's worth watching p y x which i just <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna show you something here in a second um this one is worth watching a uh, big pop yesterday and then today gapped up a little bit ran and then reversed uh so i like it as a potential bounce play tomorrow um AOI is, is this stock that you don't see today's trading because AOI uh, changed their symbol to PYX. Um, so this was the last day you'll see AOI print and then we go back to PYX and you can see if I take today's candle out of it. It's the same stock. A little bit confusing. 
Um, thanks to Big Al and Chad for letting me know in the pre-market that they changed their symbol. Um, I do think it's worth watching tomorrow. Though. So you had a really nice rally from right below 19 to almost 27 before reversing today. Um, this is actually one of my favorites. It's, be careful with it. It's spready, but I like this. Uh, I'd like to see it pull back a little bit in the morning, see if we get any one of our low-risk setups for a turn higher. All right, um, PYX, what else, what else, what else? BPMX, and um, again, a big pop, kind of like, kind of looks like that PYX. He had a big pop yesterday, then a gap up today, and then a pullback. I don't, I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really like trading stocks under 50 cents and, and really under a dollar. Um, but lately I've seen some pretty good setups and some pretty good runs in some of these. So when you combine the chart with, um, you know, reading level two in time and sales, I'm seeing some really nice trades in some of these and, and getting some. So I am going to watch BPMX tomorrow. Um, having said all that, I'm kind of anticipating, hopefully, a couple nice morning gap plays to set up. So we'll add gap plays to this list because I'm absolutely not in love with this list. But um, I am seeing some improvement in these small caps, even though today was a total chop fest. Uh, so, you know... Um, just trade smart and make sure you get an A plus setup on an intraday basis and uh, don't put any money work unless you have that. Uh, you do a lot better if you make sure that uh, stocks are meeting intraday parameters and you're trading at inflection points, a lot like we teach in our course. So uh, my favorite thing about trading the way I trade is every trade I take, I can give you two or three reasons why I take it and I only take trades at Inflection points, or again, I can give you two or three reasons why I'm taking it at that specific point. I like to see catalyst just slightly above. And if you time everything right, you should be green. If you know what you're doing, you should be green right away after taking a trade. And when you learn how to do that, it takes a lot of the problems that newer traders face out of the equation, right? Take a trade. I mean, for years, I would take a trade and just be red right away. And then I was like, yeah, crap, what do I do now? Do I buy more? Um, do I kill it? I don't. Wanna, I don't want to take a loss so quickly. So maybe I'll buy more. And then, and then all the other problems. And then next thing you know, you're in a trading dust spiral. So uh, learning how to enter at an inflection point, at a spot on the chart, and it's not. It's not always based on a whole number or anything like that. And inflection points have several different meanings as a trader. It might be a red to green, um, but I always try to take uh, inflection point entries that should get me green right away. And I also want to see, and this is a big part of the equation that a lot of people forget about, I also want to see potential catalysts just above my entry. So then it can start knocking down those dominoes and I can scale out into strength, all right? I've babbled long enough, but uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow.